What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some more news concerning Errol the Truth Spence. Spence does return to training. For those who don't know, he looks in shape. He looks like he's working the mitts. He's jogging a lot of track and field that I've seen from his uh, verified social media account, you know, and he looks positive, and that's a good thing. And the surprising thing of Errol Spence is he doesn't want a tune-up. You know, now who's to say that he's going to fight the toughest fight coming off? That remains to be seen. But, you know, on his quote-unquote hit list or, or someone's list, let's say that, and I'll get to that later, um, it's Pacquiao, Terrence Crawford, or Dan Danny Garcia. And, you know, it's a good thing that he's back on track, and I think this light... Uh, this light training can help him rehabilitate, heal from whatever, because he might still be sore. I'm not him. You know what I mean? Only he knows how he really is and his trainers and, you know, strength and conditioning knows what's really going on with him, if anything at all, because again, he could have been in worse shape. He was very fortunate in that accident, but this helps him heal up to that point. You know, this gives him something to do you know, that gives him focus. You know, I think someone like Errol Spence is strong, good fighter, very aggressive, but I think he needs focus outside the ring. So it's good to see him in training. Now, no, not having tune-ups. You know, the question I ask myself is, is this something or the Pacquiao fight? Because recently he added Pacquiao to his hit list. He wanted Pacquiao. Of course, we know Pacquiao called out Errol Spence. That was the news of last week. But Errol Spence has added him to his hit list. He wants to fight him. So hopefully he can get that fight with Pacquiao because a lot of people want to take on uh, Pacquiao because that's the money guy. You know, that's the legend. Of course, why not? My only problem is, or should I say my only question is, is this originally what Errol Spence wants for himself? Or was this something that Al Heyman wants him to do and he just agrees with what Al Heyman does? Because with Fighters with Al Heyman, Al Heyman is a very intelligent and successful businessman, right? He's a quote-unquote advisor. And he, I think these fighters just go along with the expertise of Al Heyman you know, and ride with him because they know, because they respect his intelligence. I think they do that. Now, um, I think what Al would do if they go against what he wants or contrary to what he advises, I think they get rep reprimanded. I think they get like a, some sort of punishment, so to speak, you know, and they don't uh, end up fighting for a while or something like that, or, you know, you know, they, they get a void year or whatnot. That calendar year isn't what they thought because they didn't go on. They didn't go with the advice that Al Heyman recommended. You know, that may be the case in that. And the reason why I ask and I question if this was Errol Spence's desires or Al Heyman's desires is because of this. The face-to-face -face confrontation with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence, Errol Spence already said what Al Heyman and the fighters that he wanted him to fight, and they were Pacquiao, Danny Garcia, and Sean Porter. He's fought Sean Porter. What's left left on the list, right? Danny Garcia or Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Crawford was not on the list, okay? And when you hear him speak of any fighter, it's always Manny then possibly Terrence Crawford or Danny Garcia. Or Terrence Crawford is the last of the person that's selected for an opponent. Okay? So that's what I want to know. Is that really him? Is that him or is he just going along with Al Heyman because Al Heyman pretty much runs those guys' careers? So that's my question with that. I would like to believe that that is the case, but I'm not 100% convinced. I'm not. You know, because I've already heard what Al Heyman's list is. And then this is exactly he's going along with what the list is. List is for Al Heyman. You know, now if he to call now, if he goes and picks Terrence Crawford. Here's the danger with that. Um, he, he would get 100 percent respect over here. You know what I mean? Um, if he took on Terrence Crawford, because Terrence Crawford is 
considered the best fighter in the world. You take on the best fighter in the world after being in a car wreck to that magnitude, you know, and you lose. You pretty much got that Mikey Garcia um, moral victory type of uh, 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 of trophy, you know, and, and, and platform when, when you go into a fight like that. So it's already a, hey, man, he just got in a wreck. So, of course, Terrence Crawford would beat him fighting someone that's skilled like Crawford. You know what I mean? So that's the first go-to excuse that his fans will use. Hey, he was not ready. That's why when I first heard that Errol Spence is back in, going back into training and wants these fighters with no tune-up a few weeks ago or a month ago, I was like, I, don't, I think it's too soon. Because if he loses, that's exactly what will happen. And let's say... Let's say he is, is he a hundred percent? We don't know because a lot of fighters say they're a hundred percent and they're really not, you know? So those are the, that's a problem with Terrence Crawford. But if he did pick Terrence Crawford, that would convince me that he is in control of his career and I stay corrected. Okay. Because everybody wants Pacquiao. Pacquiao is that guy that can pass the torch to these young fighters because I think Al Heyman, I think with Pacquiao, he didn't intend for Pacquiao to be beating these guys. He didn't think Pacquiao would beat Broner. He didn't think he was going to beat Keith Thurman. But he beat these guys, you know. So Manny Pacquiao becomes way more valuable on that side of the street, you know, especially for a showdown with the unified welterweight champion now, Errol DeTrue Spence. That would be a big, big fight, you know. And people... Forget the performance Manny Pacquiao had in the Jeff Horn fight. A bigger welterweight that was knocking him around the ring. What do you think Earl Spence is going to do? So that could very well be a situation where Earl Spence can bully him around and he throws those punches to the body. You know, he could very easily take that torch. So I think that would be a fight that Earl Spence would want or Al Heyman would want for Earl Spence to have over any other fight, especially a, a risky fight like Terrence Crawford, you know, but that is the fight that people want to see. And it is in the air and the, you know, they were shouts out and they did some back and forth. So we'll see at the end of the day. Um, but Errol Spence, um, I look at him and he's a strong young fighter that just got out of a miracle style car accident so I think he's still going to need time to heal you know if he decides to do a tune-up I mean I wouldn't be mad at him because you know there might be some something that people don't know about again we don't know how he really is physically or psychologically because you know car accidents do something to you mentally too okay you gotta you, you, you know is he all together up here you know and fighting someone like Pacquiao not saying Pacquiao's a pushover, but we don't know what, what version of Pacquiao you're going to get. He's 41 years old. He could look like he looked in the Keith Thurman fight or he could look like he looked in the Jeff Horn fight. You don't know. He could, be, he could have an off night or he could just be, or he could get old overnight. We don't know that, you know, but it is what it is. But one thing I will say about Pacquiao, he has taken out a lot of those PBC fighters, Matisse, Broner, Thurman. You know, he's took, taking these guys out. Side note, if Deontay Wilder did that to those matchroom fighters over there on that side of the street, I would be very impressed, very impressed, you know, with uh, Deontay Wilder. And he would have my support if he would go after those guys on, the, on, on another platform to show his dominance, because that's where a lot of those heavyweights are. Just like Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford now, he wants the belts, you know. So that's just a side note. But anyway, Errol Spence is back in training. He looks good. His hair didn't grew out. You know what I mean? And again, this gives him focus. Um, he hasn't sparred yet, but I, I wouldn't recommend him sparring right now to see, you know, not yet. But I would rather see Errol Spence Jr. on the track, in the gym, than in the club. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I think he's better uh, uh, better um, fitted in the gym. I think that gives more focus. You know, it's definitely a lot safer. All right.
But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Errol Spence back in training. Please subscribe, leave your comments below, and you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.